Hello, people watching this video. Welcome to yet another the, the, the. Welcome to yet another review show where it's basically the same as the others, just in a slightly different way. I wonder if I should change that sometime. Change Rareware, or as we know today, Rare, one of the biggest companies of the golden age of gaming. I don't know what I'm doing with my hands here. From the 90s to the early 2000s, they provided us with such classics as Banjo Kazooie, and you've probably already heard this story before, like many times. I mean, don't get me wrong, they made some pretty great stuff back in the day, so the praise is usually justified. But a lot of us already know about the story about how they were really great as a Nintendo exclusive company and how they've kind of fallen ever since they moved to Xbox. Not because they moved to Xbox, but things just seem to change whenever they moved there. But anyway, we're here to talk about a certain game about a certain squirrel that is well known for being in one of Rare's most mature games to this day. Again, we're talking about the story of Conquer. Again, well, we didn't mention it before, but well, you know what I mean. Starting out as a guest character in Diddy Kong Racing for the N64, alongside Banjo, Conquer was originally going to star in his own kids game. L long story short, he ended up in, a, in the opposite of a, of a kids game. And as we know today, that turned out to be Conquer's Bad Fur Day. However, this was not Conquer's first game to be released. For those of you who don't know, Conquer did star in a kids game almost two years before Conquer's Bad Fur Day. And that game is... Conquer's Pocket to this gamer. Released in 1999 for the Game Boy, Conquer's Pocket Tales was supposed to be the game to promote 12 Tales Conquer 64. Give a little appetizer for the new game. Kind of like what Super Smash Bros. for 3DS did for the Wii U version, in a way. But as we know, Conquer 64 grew up, hit puberty, and eventually became Conquer's Bad Fur Day. I mean, come on, we don't like to be treated like children when we're grown up. The game has had a pretty mixed reputation. Critical scores range from 4.5 out of 10 to 7.5 out of 10. We're here to talk about what I think of the game and how well it holds up today. I mean, I mean, it's my it's my video. And I, I can do what I want. If you don't like it, then you you can dislike it. Leave a, leave a mean comment, and I'll act like it doesn't bother me. But it'll really leave a really bad mark on my soul. For a bit. Anyway, let's get started. Gotta be gentle, folks. We should probably get started in English. That, that'd probably be a good idea. Hmm. I wonder what part of the game will show if I wait long enough. Will it be a demo, or a cutscene, or... How exciting. Maybe this is a demo of the title screen that will eventually show a demo of the title screen. It's, 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 some, it's some deep stuff, you'll understand when you're older. Anyway, let's... We, we're actually getting started this time, people. Huh. Well, happy birthday, Conker. Oh no! I thought it was undercooked. I don't know. There's something kind of unsettling about the looks. I mean, it's advanced for the Game Boy with the attempt at 3D and everything, but with the lack of color and stuff, it just doesn't look as good. Maybe it's just me. Barry's been kidnapped by the evil acorn! Yes, that is his name. What's Conker's reaction to this? L looking for Conker's reaction to this. Sometime today. Any, any time now. Uh, oh, here, here we go. Oh lord my ears! What kind of music is this? Did they forget to turn down the volume of one of the instruments' sound? Anyway, it looks like Conker's presents have been stolen too, and he needs to get them back or his birthday party will be ruined. That's all you care about, dude? Your stupid birthday party? I'm pretty sure there's more important things to worry about. Like your girlfriend? But then again, we are talking about the same character who will do anything for money when he's an adult. Hang on a sec. What was that about disposable? Hey! Oh. Well, well, cash. As you can tell, Conker and Barry are a little old-fashioned when it comes to sleeping together. Family values, people. Also, I hope they've been together for more than a year or two, because usually when it comes to moving in together, it doesn't work out too well when you... Hold on, what? You can hurt yourself by running into the fireplace? I know that sounds obvious, but this is a video game. 
In what would seem like the hub world in most video games, you can get hurt by fire, but you can't actually lose any health, or you just don't get hurt at all. In this game, you can lose all your health and get a game over. I I'm, I'm not even joking. A stupid way to die. Conker can use these Conker nuts as ammo for his slingshot. What did you think his name was Conker misspelled? Well these would argue that's not the case. Also Conker can pick up these acorns as health, no surprise there. Let's head outside. Ah, listen to that happy music. If it sounds familiar, that's because it's an 8-bit version of Conquer 64's main theme. Huh. Well this is interesting. By hitting the select button you can dig through dirt. Yes, that present was very much stolen. By the fence. I guess, or maybe it's temptation? Like maybe the present was there just to full conquer into thinking it'll be just that easy along the journey. Or it just happened to be there. Yeah, it's probably that. One annoying thing I've noticed is every time you talk to someone, or read a sign, or even pause the game, the level theme will start over, even if it's the same music. Rareware. I get that there's people that like to listen to music over and over, but not quite like this. Oh, maybe it's almost 18 years too late to complain about it. Moving on. Alright, just walking along. Oh, whoa, whoa! Easy there, Toad. Well, I guess that's an enemy. Let me just, uh, get my slingshot out here and... Or punch it. This is what you got? Come on, now. Are you freaking serious? Well, then let me use my slingshot! What? How do I act it? Where's it at? Yes, because it definitely looks like this crow is close to conquer. Seriously, I have ammo for the slingshot. But no slingshot. I eventually found out that you gotta head over to this windmill place and do a puzzle for this one character. That's like giving you the bullets before giving you the gun. Oh, wait a minute. Well, okay, like in that game, at least you're prepared when you have the weapon. So I went into this dark cave, and I'm not sure if I was supposed to be able to see or not, but due to the lighting of my monitor, I was able to get through most of it. Now that water is just shallow. Wait, what the fuck? So there's random bits of water you can run onto, and random bits where you can't. It's sometimes hard to tell which ones you can and can't do. Alright, let's try out the slingshot. Yeah, how do you like that, you... That's too easy. Dickhead. Alright, let's go through this dirt. I'm sure it won't take long. Well, that was dirty. Might have stretched through the script a little bit. Just, just a tad. Just a tad. Wow. To you then. Shut up, Alder right Conker. Conker has a handful of moves, such as running when you double tap the D pad, surprisingly jumping in a game like this, foot slam, I guess, and obviously the slingshot. There might be more moves, but I didn't really get very far in this game to see. I kept getting lost wherever I went. Even when I read something, I still kept getting lost. There's no map as far as I know of, so it's a little hard to tell where to go. This game isn't really bad. It's just... okay, I guess. You know, at some point I, sh I, should, I should probably play a game that isn't just okay. I get what they were trying to do, but I feel like it could have been done a lot better. Thank you all for watching this video. Boy, this is short. Maybe. I don't know. Probably depends on what I add in the final video. If you'd like to see more videos like this, or any of my videos on this channel, then go ahead and click or touch that subscribe button, Hit the like button if you like this video, and ending what I normally say now. And as usual, this last part is unscripted. I gotta think of what to do. I'm not really good at this.
It's, it's been it's been like a over a month since I've made one of these or released one, whatever the case is. Whenever I release this, I mean, guys, look how pathetic this. I, I was I was reading the script. I was, I was reading the script. I I need to get better at this. It's I. W what even is this? What is this? W what am I doing here? What? Why am I even doing this? I. The camera's safe.